Hey, what is up guys? John from Magic Tech Review. How are you guys doing today? And in today's video, we're going to be going over the TCL 20 Pro 5G. So this phone right here, man, um, I've been using it for uh, over two days now. And let me tell you, it's a pretty darn cool device. So um, last video that I made was an unboxing for this. And I literally just unboxed it, show you guys a few apps. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at more in depth. We're going to maybe go over a YouTube video, see what it looks like. We're going to go into maybe a game or two, Genshin Impact, maybe some Spider-Man 2, which is an old game, but, you know, just for reference. So go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you enjoy my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of any time I make a video. And I'm going to be doing a video as well on the TCL 20 uh, SE that I'm actually using this phone to record right now. So let me know how the video and sound recording is sounding on this phone right now. And let's go ahead and get into it. So first, let's go ahead and bring in the former phone, the TCL 10 Pro. So TCL 10 Pro, no 5G, TCL 20 Pro 5G. So you have 5G capabilities, obviously, with this phone. Um, only T-Mobile at the moment, I believe. I think they're saying that they might add AT&T um, support later. Not sure about that, but that's one thing to consider, I guess. Uh, I have Cricket at the moment, so it's only 4G LTE at the moment. Whatever seems pretty cool to me. I'm actually, I you know just use the Wi-Fi at home, and then I'm out briefly, so not a big deal to me. Um, the design-wise, though, they nailed it on this one. TCL, um, as always, has some nice branding on their phones, but um, I don't know. Just as you can see, that that just you know that look of it this time around is like wow. It's like masterpiece chef's kiss right there um with the whole stripe down the side right there with tcl on the siding right there with the camera and then the, the, the uh, dual led lens flash there um as well as the bezel and the um beveling i guess you can call it on the sides here it just seems a lot sturdier and a lot more uh well done and TCL 20 Pro 5G is actually bigger as well as you can see. So as you can see right there, there's a quite a significant difference and that, you know, translate to screen size as well. As you can see, they are both at maximum brightness. So let's go ahead and look at that. So this one has a, uh, how do you call it, teardrop? This one has a notch. I do prefer the notch style than the teardrop. The teardrop, I don't know, just gives me this funky, funky vibe about it. The notch style I like better. So the punch, punch style, I guess you can call it. And as you can see, a lot more uh, screen real estate right there. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, you just go slip over right there and you go to your Google stuff right there. I pretty much have the same apps on both these devices. They're pretty much carbon copies of one one another. And the TCL 20 Pro just 5G just seems a little bit more snappier than the other phone, the previous phone. So I don't know exactly why that is, but hey, that's is it is what it is. Um, the TCL 20 Pro 5G also has um, different features than the TCL 10 Pro. I noticed that the 10 Pro as well had this thing where it said file not found after a while and also i can't use my diabetic app on the tcl 10 pro i've never been able to do it it doesn't work the libre link thing just doesn't work the one right here i had i just ate some lunch so i can show you guys um for those of you that do have maybe you know maybe have diabetes maybe you're checking it with your glucose thingy literally just tap it on your arm and boom there you go like i said just had lunch and during the morning i was a little low so that's that right there so i'm happy that i don't have to use a separate device just to you know take my blood sugar reading so the 
NFC seems to be a lot stronger on this device than it does the TCL 10 Pro. Um, so that's that. Let's go ahead and take a look at a video real quick. It says 4K UHD Biza Summer Mix 2020. I won't have the sound on here because obviously, you know, you don't, I don't want any uh, copyright strikes or anything like that, but let's take a look. Let's just make sure they're both at. So, right there. I don't know why this one's giving me. Let's take, let's take a look at both here. As you can see, they're both on high brightness. So this one's giving me black bars. Don't know why. Let's see. 21P. Hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Picture quality. There you go. Maybe that's something they'll sort out. Uh, with an update or a patch so I'll reach out to TCL and see what they say about that or maybe it's just the resolution of the actual video and there you go right there so let's take a quick look at the cameras but like I said just playing with these two phones well, playing with this phone for over a year and some change and then playing with this phone for two, three days, I can immediately tell, you know, the difference on both uh, phones. Um, actually, I'm using this case right here. So, this case right there. And it's a really good case for this phone. Makes it feel substantial. I like it. Heavy. Nice and kind of heavy duty, but not too heavy duty at the same time. You know, this, I don't like using like really external heavy otter boxes, but I do like to use something that um, does have a little bit of heft to it. The TCL 10 Pro never was really able to find any good cases for it. So I kept using the one that they gave me. So this is kind of just looks dingy and dirty at this point. Um, I've tried cleaning it several times, but you know how those clear cases get they get you know just they just get dingy after time but let's go ahead and go into the uh, camera app and let's go ahead and take a picture of the there you go so that's what the camera looks like right there and you do have your settings you got video quality all the way up to 4K, 30 FPS. And you got your video size, high pixel. And then you got 4.3, 1.1, 16.9, and full screen right there. And if we go into this one as well, take a picture as well. So. That's kind of the differences right there. Video quality, same thing, 4K, 16 by 9 at 30 FPS. And then you got your photo size, 12 megapixel, all the way up to 64 megapixels right there. So that's that right there. Like I said, um, 10 Pro, been great phone. So I would still recommend the 10 Pro as well as the 20 Pro 5G. But obviously, you're going to get two years of um, OS support. Um, this one did get two years of OS support as well. I did get these updates, so we're up to the current one for the TCL 10 Pro as well. So guys, like I said in the beginning, if you do enjoy the content, you want to see any more videos, you want to see anything else, um, let's take a quick look at Genshin Impact. I don't think I did that. So let's take a quick look at Genshin Impact. Now, one of my subscribers had kindly asked me to do uh, some time testing for Genshin Impact. I do have it on my phone. I have been playing some Genshin Impact on my phone. Obviously, it's better on your PC to play games, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and quickly get into it. So, 
the battery is a uh, 4.5 uh, milliamps so uh, take it for what it is it could have been a little bit bigger maybe 5,000 6,000 but 4.5 sounds about you know decent um, I've been you know you obviously not gonna be able to play Genshin Impact all day long but if you do you know whatever you need to do get through your day and then you can you know maybe charge up at night it's not gonna be three days of battery life or anything like that but um, you do have to do some sacrifices for uh, some high-end specs obviously if this was this is not like a primarily a gaming phone but definitely a good good phone and its budget and its class so the screen is just amazing on this phone I love the screen um, just really vivid really nice bright uh, they got their next gen technology they got the two up there I don't know what it actually does uh, but man just telling you the screen is just good let's go ahead and just fight some enemies real quick let's get that in there and the volume is really good on this phone as well it's single it's mono speaker it's not a stereo speaker so but But as you can see, Genshin Impact is definitely playable, definitely looks good, feels good. Like I said, you're probably not going to be able to play all day long on this device without at least having to charge it up. Uh, it might warm up the battery a little bit, so be careful about that. And, you know, you don't want to be playing for hours and hours on end. But yeah, here's the, also the, uh, you know look from the sides of the phone so you can pretty much see all the way to the dang end from the side view so really nice side views and like I said one speaker so you will be able to cover with one um, one finger there and you can you know so unfortunately it's not a dual speaker but sometimes it could be a good thing right and if you want you know if you getting some call or something like that you want to just make the phone quiet you can just go like that and you can quiet it down a little bit uh, I do that sometimes when my son's asleep I don't know I, I guess that's a bad thing but a good thing at the same time and plus if you want to actually get good sound quality out of a phone come on you're gonna use obviously headphone jack or a nice nice set of Bluetooth speakers so um, yeah that's that anyways thank you guys for watching this has been John from Magic Tech Review with the um, TCL 20 Pro 5G and a comparison of the TCL 10 Pro so let me you guys know if you want to see anything else and I will see you guys in the next one peace yeah.